I'm Heidi Rue with PartiesForPennies.com, a blog that gives you budget-friendly party ideas and inspiration. And I'm here with you today for Sizzix. We are talking tea parties and how to decorate a tea party and do all kinds of projects for it using your Sizzix machine. It is possible and I'm going to show you how. Last week I showed you how to do a paper daffodil to go into your beautiful paper flower arrangement. And then today we are going to talk pink paper pink poppies yes that's a mouthful isn't it I'm gonna show you how to do that to complete the beautiful flower arrangement so here is what you will need to create your own you'll need your Sizzix Big Kick two plastic cutting pads a magnetic platform your poppy thinlet from Sizzix glue just regular glue stem wire and you can find those in the floral department of your craft store. Paint and brush. I chose the same colored paint I used last week on the daffodil, some really pretty kind of peachy orangish color. Pink and yellow cardstock. And Susan's garden tools that you can find on Sizzix.com. All right, let's get started. Layer your magnetic platform and cutting pad in two sheets of pink cardstock. Place all your petals and a stamen thinlet on the cardstock. Add a cutting pad and run through your Sizzix machine. Do the same thing with your green and yellow cardstock for the stem base and second stamen. Here are the pieces you should have when you're done. Using your brush, paint loose strokes at the bottom of each petal. Fully cover your stamen with the paint. Roll your small ballpoint tool in the center of your stem base, applying some pressure. Turn your petals over so the paint inside is face down. Use your large ballpoint tool and press along the top edges. Attach your petals to the stem base by dipping the smaller point of your petal in glue and holding it in place with your tweezers. Cut each stem of your stamen in half to add a little more texture. Use your large ballpoint tool to press in the center of your stamen. With your tweezers, bend the stamen stems outward on the pink and inward on the yellow. Dip the pink stamen in your glue and press into the center of your flower. Do the same thing with your yellow stamen. bit of glue from your glue gun to the bottom of your poppy and attach your stem wire. Now your paper.
paper flower arrangement is complete. Use this as a centerpiece at your tea party or just some really pretty accents. And you don't have to worry about them dying. That's a good part, right? I'm not so good at watering, so these are the kind of flowers that I think I need to stick to. Well, stay tuned for more great ideas of how you can create your own tea party using your Sizzix machine. Don't forget to subscribe to Sizzix and check out all the materials that we use today at Sizzix.com. Ooh.